Here it is right here. Camper. Yeah, they pull them and they drive them. This is the Atal Palace Hotel. This used to be a castle, as you can tell. Uh, I don't think it was, I think it was more of like a palace castle. Eventually, where have you been? Down the road we go again. Trekking their way through the USA. Boondocking while docking in the Taipei. In this episode, we stop in Pit Lockery, which is the home of Heather Gems, and this is kind of a strange little factory. They make jewelry out of Heather, and it's quite interesting, so check it out. Making jewelry out of Heather Stems, which is a plant that's all over Scotland, turns out to be pretty cool. They take it, uh, the stems, and they wash them and clean them, and then they crush them, and they put them in these big bricks with a bunch of uh, glue and stuff, and when they come out, from being under pressure, they take slices of the brick and then go ahead and make all kinds of different jewelry out of it. Pretty neat to watch and very interesting. So come on, let's check it out. And of course, we'll get out into the visitor center where they have the gift shop. This is what the heather looks like after they've put it into a cube. And then they go ahead and slice it and uh, start making jewelry out of it by hand. Interesting. Look at it back here, Rod. Some kind of. Big kind of bags of limbs. Yeah. See the big bags of limbs down there? Oh, yeah. And they press it all together? Mm hmm. And they polish them. The prices are good. And then they come out in these squares like yeah. that? Then they polish them. They polish them and make things up? Look at, look at all of them back there, big squares. Have, yeah. So I guess they press it into like a log and then they cut it down and come out with these little sheets and then make jewelry out of it. Oh, isn't that neat? Didn't they sand them? Yeah. Sand them down. All shellac, all shellac them and stuff. So they make a big bundle and they glue it and press it all together. And yeah. It almost looks like plastic. Oh, look at these knives. Huh. Oh, they make earrings, necklaces. Well, they make all kinds of stuff out of that, don't yeah, they? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. What is it? Oh, is it a bracelet? Let's see it. Ooh, that's pretty. Bridge magnets. Oh, wow. It's never a good magnet, though. Okay, let's see what else this town has to offer. Pretty cool little town. When we were driving through, it, was, <laughs> it also looked pretty busy. Camper. Yeah, they pull them and they drive them. We're trying to find where he parked the, the bus. So we gotta, he's supposed to, we're supposed to be back there by five. So. Oh, it's all wool store, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fridge magnet. You're not gonna believe this place. This is the Pit Lockery. This is in Pit Lockery. That's the city. Uh, the hotel we stayed in. <laughs> anyway, beautiful rooms. Real old. It's a ca actually it used to be a castle. And I'm trying to find the lift. There's no such thing as elevators over here. It's the lift. And if you'll notice, the windows are wavy. It has uh, you know the old leaded glass. Beautiful building. They've really done a good job restoring it and keeping it up. Kind of chilly this morning out here. We walked outside. It was hot inside, but when we see, when we look out our window, this is what we see this morning. This place is absolutely gorgeous. It would be nicer if the sun was out, but this is Scotland. Wait two minutes and the weather will change, they say. But when he turns around, I think our driver was saying yesterday that people come to Scotland for the for the scenery and the, uh, all the old buildings and stuff. They don't come for suntans, and, and he's absolutely correct. So this is the Atal Palace Hotel. This used to be 
a castle, as you can tell. Uh, I don't think it was, I think it was more of a, like a palace castle, not a, you know, marauder castle where they would blow it up and all that sort of stuff. So it's a beautiful building. The grounds are absolutely gorgeous. They take really good care of it. And, you know, the room wasn't huge, but it was, it was, it was really nice. Something I hadn't seen in a hotel over here yet, but it had a, a towel warmer that your towels are nice and hot when you got out of the shower, which is great. But anyway, today we're going to head towards Aaron Burrow and we're going to go to the Roslyn Chapel. Well, the Roslyn Chapel is not remembered, but the Roslyn Chapel was in the um, Da Vinci Code movie. Supposedly, there's, uh, well, they say there's Templars buried there and all kinds of other weird people. So we're going to go and check it out. We can't film inside, can't even take pictures inside, but that's because uh, they have a gift shop where they sell you the pictures and the videos. So. But that's where we're going to go today, and then we'll end up in Ehrenberg, where tomorrow, and we've been there before, we were there on the way up to here. We're going to go back down there for, I think, a night and part of a day for shopping. <laughs> what's, what's, you, what's, you know, we got to go shopping every once in a while, so. And uh, in fact, we did some yesterday in town, and that's on the video a little bit before here. But anyway, this is what's going on. We're really enjoying ourselves, and I'd like to come back someday. My daughter, Julie, she uh, she did an excellent job in planning this. I mean, everything was laid out, scheduled. We're going here, and we're seeing this, and then today we're staying at this uh, hotel, and, uh, you know, the next day we get up, and we've got everything planned. Our driver comes and picks us up in a really nice uh, Mercedes. Oh, how do you like the hat? And big Mercedes van. It would make a great camper. The thing is huge. There's nine of us in there and all our luggage and there's still a whole bunch of room in there, but he'll pick us up in the morning like he'll come and get us about 10 or 10, 15 today. And off we go and he shows us around. We went to a distillery yesterday. Again, didn't get, they don't let you take pictures in there or video. They're afraid your camera may blow up the place because of all the um, you know all the fumes from the from the uh, liquor that they're making and it was pretty interesting i thought jack daniels did a better job of it but anyway uh we went there did some tastings and then come on into the hotel down here and we went downtown uh to pit lockery which is the city where it's in and we took a uh, walk down there and went a little shopping and and saw the sights down there, the buildings and everything, and they're, they're so beautiful. That's what's, this place is just, uh, yeah, you come here for the scenery, I'm telling you, and the buildings, the castles and, oh, and just the buildings in general. Uh, when you think of England or Scotland, the buildings are in that picture that you're thinking. So, it's just amazing over here. Uh, I don't want to leave, but I'd like to get home because I'm, I'm tired of living out of a suitcase. You know, as RVers, we don't live out of suitcases. We pack the motor home or the trailer or whatever, and off we go and we don't think about it. It's like our house, we're dragging it along. But if you go on a big trip overseas, you, you gotta pack, you gotta haul your luggage around. You have to, you know, live out of your luggage, pack it, unpack it. It's getting old, but anyway. One thing I didn't realize over here is that uh, there's a lot of RVers. Or people are coming over and renting RVs. They're, you know, a B size, mostly uh, van vans, but then bigger, you know, the bigger v Bs. They were everywhere in northern Scotland. There's a route, it's called the Scotland 500, and it's 500 miles, and people rent you know the RVs and they go this route and it takes you through all the castles that are up there um, you know all the battlefields and little towns and there's places to camp along the way there's campgrounds and they're not bad they're 25 to 35 dollars a night uh, for full hookups there's also a lot of places where they just have a wide spot in the road where you can turn off and park there 
uh, you know, so you boondock overnight. And a lot of them have solar and everything. Uh, they're about, I looked it up, they're about $160 a day to $250 to $300 a day. It depends on what you get. So there is a lot of RVing over here, which surprised me. And even as you drive around, you see small trailers, very small, maybe 15 foot, 16 foot trailers in people's yards. So let me switch hands here. So there's RV and over here, the people that live here RV a lot. They just, they do mostly in trailers, their world, and they're all from van conversions. Uh, we sell a lot of van conversions. So this is 500 miles and what it does is it goes up the east coast and it goes, you know, to the North Atlantic at the top and then comes back down. And uh, like I say, you see all the castles, you see all the buildings and, and battlefields and different things about Scottish heritage. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, we came here to find my roots. Don't know if we did, but we're having a great time. I'm just, I'm enjoying the heck, holy heck out of it, I'll tell you. But now that I'm down here, let's look at this building again. It's, it's huge, it goes way back. Actually, well, let's, let's walk up here and I'm not gonna talk too much once we get inside, because there's people, you know, milling around getting ready for breakfast, but I just wanted to show you the outside and a little bit of the inside. So, let's take a look. Uh, the hotels are real big on these circling doors and you gotta watch it. If you stand too close and somebody spins it, it'll get you hung up in it. You gotta go walking around real quick. So, this is the inside. This is where you come into the front desk. And we stopped at the factory yesterday that makes this jewelry. The Heather Gems. It was really cool. I'm sure you've already seen it because it's been part of the video, so. This place is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> and there's where we're gonna have breakfast straight ahead there. And then of course they have a couple bars and lounges and all kinds of chairs. And this is a beautiful restoration. You know what amazes me is all that work up there is hand done in plaster. They have, actually have fireplaces at work, and you know, if you look uh, at the top of all the buildings out here, they have multiple, multiple upon multiple fireplace chimneys sticking up, and I was asking one of our guides, and she says, of course, they used to have them in every room, you know, a fireplace for heat, and since they don't anymore, they just cap them off, but they leave them there as a, it's aesthetic. So if you build a new house, even they put a bunch of chimneys on just to make it look right. We're gonna have breakfast this morning, uh, get in the van and take off to uh, Edinburgh and the Roslyn Chapel. So come along for a ride. We're across the pond, not down the road. Take care. We'll come along next week as we visit the Roslyn Chapel, which is right outside of Edinburgh. Scotland. So come along for the ride as down the road we go.